Hello friends, welcome to today's artificial intelligence class. And in this class, we will see the uninformed searching strategies. Under this, we are going to see the breadth first search in this class. And that will come under the first unit, problem solving. Uninformed search strategies. Okay, these algorithms are otherwise called as blind algorithm or a brute force algorithm. And this uninformed searching algorithm generates the search tree without using any domain specific knowledge. So all the knowledge is getting from only the problem definition that is no additional information about states beyond that provided in the problem definition. So we will get the knowledge only from this problem definition. And this algorithm generates successors by using the successor function that is this algorithm will generate the successor states by using the successor function and it is having knowledge about goal state that is it should know which is the goal state and which are all not goal states and no information about the path cast from current state to goal state right so these are the uninformed searching strategies and next we are going to see the different uninformed searching techniques available in our syllabus. The first one is breadth first search, which is otherwise called as BFS. And second one is uniform cast search, UCES. And the next one is depth first search, which is otherwise called as DFS. And next one is depth limited search, that is DLS, depth limited search. And next one is iterative deepening search iterative deepening search and the last one is bidirectional search okay so these are the six different uninformed searching strategies we are going to see in the first unit the first one is breadth first search this is otherwise called as bfs here the root node is expanded first and then all successors of the nodes are expanded next and the successors and so on. So this is the breadth first search. In general, all the nodes at a given depth are expanded in a search tree before any node in the next level are expanded. Okay, let us see one example for this. Let me draw the diagram here. And this is root node, node A. From here, we are having three branches this is B and this is C and this is D and here we are having some other sub nodes and this is E and this is F. From C we are having two children and G, H and from here I. Okay. So this is our example tree and A is in the level 0 level 0 and this level is 1 level 1 and level 2 okay and here we can mark any node as starting node here our starting node is a a is our starting node okay from the starting node, we need to explore and traverse unvisited nodes adjacent to the starting node. Okay, so the nodes in the level 1 are actually adjacent to the starting node. All the nodes will be visited next. Okay, after this level 1, we will move to level 2 that is mark node as completed and move to the next adjacent and unvisited nodes. After completing level 1, it will go to level 2. Okay, These level nodes will get visited next. And let us see one example for this. Okay, This is the example diagram. Here, this is the root node. Okay, Initially, in step 0, we are going to visit this root node and this root node is having two branches B and C. And next, A is having two adjacent nodes and 
after a it will come to b b is get visited so after b it will not go down to this d but it will visit the c because c is the sibling to b so b is get visited and next the d is get being visited right so after c it will come to d and e and f and g it will go like this so this is called as breath first search algorithm now let us see the properties of uh, bfs algorithm first one is completeness the bfs is complete one if b is finite b is nothing but the breadth of this algorithm and the solvest solution is returned and next one is time complexity the time complexity is being calculated by using b that is b b1 plus b2 plus b3 etc bd d is nothing but the depth okay so the time complexity is order of b into d and the time requirement is more in this bfs algorithm okay this is a major factor and next one is space complexity and this is also order of b into d okay this keeps every node in the memory all the nodes will get expanded in this bfs algorithm and space is also a bigger problem it requires more than time and next one is optimal whether the bfs is optimal means yes it is optimal algorithm if steps cast are identical or path cast is a non decreasing function of depth of the node okay so the completeness is yes time complexity is order of bd and space complexity is also order of bd and optimal yes bfs is optimal algorithm and that's all about the breadth first searching algorithm in this class we have seen what is uninformed searching strategy and we have seen six different algorithms in this uninformed searching strategies okay after that we have seen the breadth first searching algorithm in detail about this class and in the next class i will uh, teach you the uniform cast search and if you have any doubt you please text me over the comment box and you can give your suggestion also in the comment box thank you